This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle and becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100 page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. All right guys, what is up YouTube? It is really good to see everyone, man. I know it's been a week since I've uploaded, but it is because of a valid reason. I am still moving stuff. I've been living in a hotel for the last four weeks with two dogs, by the way. I'm still working for a startup 40 hours a week while working on developerbranded.com. I've been really busy and I just needed a break from YouTube so I can focus on these things. But anyway, man, to go straight to the point, today I'm going to share my three salaries that I've had as a developer. <laughs> I've been a developer for four years. So because of that, I've only had three jobs. Before I even tell you all of that, I also want to include what my income was before even becoming a developer in the first place. Because that first jump from my regular income as an office guy, right, to becoming a developer is pretty big. So just before I tell you my first salary as a developer, let's go dive into what my income was as an executive assistant, all right? I mean, even before that, I think this is a good story to tell because before I even was an executive assistant, I was working as a customer service rep at a fabric company in Huntington Beach. I was making 16 bucks an hour, working 40 bucks a week, 40 hours a week. And I'm not gonna lie, man, I was looked down a lot at that company. My boss would look down at me, call me on a lot of things. And it, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't good at the job. But it's because, again, it takes me a long time to learn something. And they want someone that could learn something fast, but that's just not how I was. Now I could learn code a lot faster, but anyway, I didn't like that job. So I left that job paying 16 bucks an hour to my executive assistant job. And as an executive assistant, I was working 40 hours a week. They paid me two bucks an hour. But even at that job as well, man, they were Cool, they were nice, but man, they did not treat me well either, man. Honestly, they treated me worse than the last place. And it's because they wanted me to care about the company when I didn't care about what they did. I worked for an audio visual company. I did things, for example, where I would set up, I would create the invoices on what to charge people for using our equipment. I would have to speak with clients. I would have to manage them. And it was hard for me to do that for a company I really honestly just didn't care about. It's just different. I mean, like when you do something just for the money, you can honestly kind of tell when people do that because they're not as passionate in it as you'd probably want to be. And then what happened at that company, they actually decreased my hours to about 32 hours a week, if not less. And so I went from making 16 bucks an hour, right, to $18 an hour. When they decreased my hours, it was like I was making 16 bucks an hour again. And it was like, what the heck's going on? Like, why did I leave my last job to join you guys to be treated even worse and then get paid the same? And after that, that's when I felt like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. I want to become a developer. So I studied code for three months. I got very lucky. I got my first developer job in three months at my first company. And so they hired me as a junior developer. Now, I shared this with a lot of people already, so I don't mind sharing this right now. My first developer salary at my junior web developer position, it blows my mind to this day. That fact that when I just think about this, I knew almost nothing. I went from making 18, technically it went down to 16 bucks an hour, to making $21 an hour, okay? $5 more an hour, which is actually pretty good when you add it up throughout the year. So I went from making 16 bucks an hour to 21, which is equivalent to $45,000 a year, man. For me, that was a big jump because I went from getting like, what, $700, $800 a check to $1,350 bucks after taxes every other week. It was a big jump for me, man. $45,000 a year. And what did I do at my job, not my first developer job to earn that income? I worked with HTML, CSS, vanilla JavaScript, and jQuery. I did no backend. This was purely all front end development. That is literally all I worked with. Although towards the end of my two years with that company, I started working on converting jQuery to Vue.js, which is actually really fun. So that is what I did. But yes, I worked with that technology, but what did I actually do with that technology? I worked at a processing company. So I worked with a lot, creating a lot of like processing forms where you process cards, e-commerce pages. I worked with a lot of churches. I worked with a lot of nonprofit organizations and creating really nice aesthetic looking, also functionally working donation pages for them. So that is what I did for them. And so after two years, toward the end of the two years, when I started working on Vue.js, confronting jQuery to Vue.js, entrepreneur.com was actually hiring. And so they were hiring for a developer and who actually knew some Vue.js. And so I went to entrepreneur.com after two years, and I think two months, I gave my two weeks notice to the company, which is hard because I made really good friends at that company. And I'm still friends with the technical director, my homie, Tony, and we still talk like almost every single day, which is pretty cool. And so I left that company and I went to entrepreneur.com and they hired me as a mid-level developer, or I would think they did. So at Entrepreneur, what I earned as a mid-level developer, I still consider myself a junior, even to this day, to be honest. I still feel like I'm a junior developer. <coughs> and please, 
Don't mind my cough, man. I do not have COVID. I am in the South right now. There are trees everywhere. The pollen, or pollen, whatever you call it, is getting to me. So I've had a hard time breathing or just like, I had been coughing a lot ever since I came here because anyways, actually, I should be taking my allergy pills right now. <laughs> but anyway, man, when I joined Entrepreneur, what my income there was $70,000 a year. Yes, yeah, so what I earned at Entrepreneur.com was $70,000 a year. That was an extra freaking $25,000 on top of my salary. And what is that per hour? I was making about $33 an hour, dudes. Please note, I went from making 16 bucks an hour, right? And then I went to making from 16 bucks to $21 an hour. And after two years, I went from making 21 bucks an hour to $33 an hour. That is a huge jump because I just know an extra technology of UJS or it's simply because I have more experience. Tell me another industry, guys, where you can significantly increase your salary from point A to point B from just two years of experience. If not, you could even do it in a year if you wanted or from just learning a new technology. What other company could you do that in this world? I don't know if you know, let me know because I want, I want to know. So simply because I have more experience and new an extra JavaScript library other than jQuery, I got a significant pay bump. That's not normal in the world, but it is in the tech industry, man. That's very normal. You're able to increase your salary like crazy. Like, please know, just a couple years ago, I was homeless. Let's say five years ago, six years ago, I was homeless. Then after I was homeless, I lived in a closet for like two years. Then while living in that closet size bedroom, I became a junior developer. After that, I upgraded to living and renting a master bedroom in California. Then went from master bedroom to renting an apartment. And now I'm going to be living in a house here in the South in just five years. Your salary increases significantly and it is crazy, man. Now, it is also good to note that even though if I was making $45,000 a year, even if I was making $70,000 a year, that is not much money at all in California. Honestly, that's not. I mean, even for a single person that could be, but it's not much. A master bedroom was $1,300 a month. That's insane, right? The apartment that I actually upgraded to while only earning 70K a year, granted I did have YouTube income, was $2,000 a month. That's insane. So with $70,000 a year as a single person, that's not much at all. It may sound like it to other people, but it's really not okay anyway so what did i do at that company an entrepreneur as a mid-level developer earning seventy thousand dollars a year i was honestly doing the exact same thing i was working with html but it was more advanced stuff man i had to be better i had to because our website got millions of views every single month i had to make sure that the code we wrote or i wrote was efficient i saw i made a lot of mistakes i worked with html css but mainly sas worked with jquery vanilla javascript worked on php worked in laravel worked in my sql we're doing a lot of things and then actually before i even left we were converting jQuery or we were actually working on Svelte.js, right, before I left. And so what was I doing with that technology? I was actually working on creating efficient landing pages, working on, honestly, I worked on a lot of bugs, fixing a lot of bugs. But what I loved is that I was able to do some backend stuff and I was able to do complicated stuff that I never, I never did at my first company. And what's cool about what I learned as an entrepreneur was I knew how to write code the correct way. I learned how to be more efficient in how I write my CSS as a front-end developer. That's very important. I learned how to stop writing dry code. <laughs> I learned a lot of things and I learned how to problem solve, which is most important to be honest. So I did a lot more work at Entrepreneur. I did more difficult work, a lot of bug solving, which I barely did the first company. And I'm really glad that I left my original company because I learned so much at Entrepreneur that it has allowed me to become such a better developer. And not even just that, the relationship I had with my boss. Like I've never had this kind of relationship with my boss that I had like at anyone else. Like every week I'd go in his office or we'd have a, a video meeting and we just talk about life. And he literally watched all my videos and he would comment on my videos and tell me how to improve or Chris, why did you stop uploading? And you should, like the relationship I had there was absolutely amazing, man. But anyway, now what you guys want to know now is my third job. What am I earning right now as a developer? Okay, so now working at a startup, the big question of the day is what am I actually earning now as a front end developer? Being the only developer at this company, right? What do I earn? Before I tell you this, man, I think it's going to note that, what, at least what I've recently learned is that a lot of people that I know here in the South watch my videos. <laughs> the people doing construction on my house watch my videos. So because of that, I do want to be careful with what I actually share when my income is and I'm not clickbaiting this so for me to get around that I want to share with you what I'm earning as a developer with my YouTube income this is what I earn as a developer including not just my job but my income from YouTube sponsored affiliates and everything put together and I think that's a good way to mask what my actual income is so what am I earning in 2020 including my salary in YouTube now please note that this is not fake I did the calculations on this my YouTube channel by the way is blowing up I'm getting about 20,000 views per video now maybe I won't anymore and this might go down. So this income actually fluctuates, but I'll say what I'm earning now. So I was earning 70K a year at Entrepreneur. Now with YouTube blowing up and my developer branding company, by the way, check the link in the description below. I'm earning between, okay, $125,000 to $135,000 a year. Now, honestly, I'm not going to lie. This will and can significantly increase by $30,000. I can see myself making $160,000 to $170,000 by the end of the year because my company, my own company is actually blowing up, right? <laughs> um, we'll see is blowing up the, the income that's coming in. So this 
this can go up to 170, but as of right now, what I'm calculating on a monthly basis is that I will make, and I am earning, actually not well, I am earning between 125 to $135,000 a year. More realistically speaking, 135,000 a year. Now, it is also important to note that I do not just take care of myself. My parents got laid off in Las Vegas, so I'm paying for their mortgage. I'm paying for the rent. And the houses in Vegas aren't cheap. Even though it's cheaper in California, the houses are not cheap. I'm paying for the bills and I'm supporting them other ways. If they need help with food and money, I give them that too. And now I have a house here in the South. I just bought a car, right, that I paid for. For my house, I still need to get furniture. I brought no furniture with me. I have to get everything I need, right? So I have this income because I worked my ass off. Because I knew that I needed to work as hard as I needed on YouTube the last three years to take care of my family now. Literally, that is why I did it. So I made sure that I would get here. And I know my income will continue to increase as not just a developer, as a YouTuber. So yes, that is what I earned, man. But okay, one more thing to note too, is that usually people earn this kind of income, 120K plus a year, because they live in Silicon Valley where rent's like three, or $4,000 a month, which is freaking insane. And they get taxed. Me, I don't get state tax. Right? I am earning this income in a place where I live right now is one third of the cost of living in Silicon Valley, in Los Angeles. So also, it's important to know that even I am making this income, I do support my family, but man, the cost of living here is so cheap, even though I'm not rich at all, I definitely feel like it. I'm not rich, I don't, I'm not, but I feel like it because the cost of living here is so cheap and the people are so nice, man. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I feel very uncomfortable sharing this with you guys because the amount of people I know that watch my videos, especially the people that I know that watch my videos that live here. But I think it's very important for me to be very transparent with you guys because yo, I want you to understand that yo, if you go in the world of code, your income could significantly increase. But even more than that, if you are a developer and you start your own business on the side, man, your income will double, triple. I went from making 16 bucks an hour to making $135,000 a year in just four years. Can you grasp that? In just four years, I did this. That's not normal unless you're a developer. <laughs> anyway, man, thank you guys for watching, man. I love you all. Thank you for the support. If you guys liked the video, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment if you want to let me know or what you earned at your first developer job. But anyway, thank you guys for everything. This is Krishan. This is Life Web Developer. And I'm out. Peace.